Is it the Henry? Henry? Henry, yeah. Oh, How are you? Okay, lovely to see you. What is the number? Jesus. Excuse me? Jesus. Jesus. Just touched down here in Marbella and I'm staying at a gorgeous place called Puta Romano. I'm in the bathroom right now, so it's a little bit echoey, but let me give you a quick room tour. Because straight away, you've got the bathroom on your left. Very nice. Absolutely huge shower. And then we come back through and we've got two beds. You've got an insane mini bar. And I assume in here you've got... Ah, storage facilities. <laughs> They've even given me some flip-flops. And for some reason, those look like they won't fit. <laughs> but coming to the main area, they've kindly left me some goodies, which I'm 100% going to be snacking on. And they've also left me a bottle of ridiculously nice champagne. But the issue is, I've got the marathon and I want to be very steady. So this week is not about drinking. <laughs> Right, so I did just pay 18, 18 euros for that. Fuck's sake. So I'm just having a pre-workout. Basically it was my protein sludge with a bit of, with, with a banana. It's delicious. I had the tiniest salad earlier. <laughs> so shit. 18 euro that cost me. So simply pop a bit of protein into a mug, pour some water in and you just give it a stir and it makes it into like a sludge. I'm telling you right now, this is ridiculous. It's packed protein with me, this one I came. at a hotel i want to get some sun but i need to work out as well because i've been up since this morning i've been up really early this morning pretty exhausted but i always know a workout makes me so much better it's taper week guys so i'm going to take it very very easy my taper this week is literally looking like this so i'll pop it up right here on the screen for you guys to have a look it's going to do 8k and then jump into a couple of leg exercises to strengthen my legs and then that'll be it for today get some food go to bed wake up tomorrow nice day in the sun let's go So gang, if you saw my last video, you would have remembered I picked up these beads in Lisboa. So these are them. 
They're on my neck. Let me show you this way. So, beads on men. They look sick. I really like them. What do you guys think? And then I've got some Craft London jewellery on as well. Combination. And anyway, I've got this Rodden Gun linen shirt. And I've got these Tommy Hilfiger pair of jeans as well. And these Rust and Romney shoes. Yes, they're Wills. Because <laughs> he clarified last time. What do you guys think of this outfit? It's like end of summer vibes. I'm off for dinner at a... I'm going to Old Town to go see what's out and check it out. Peace. Wednesday, I've been in Marbella since Monday and having such a chill time. Really enjoying it here, doing my tape a week before the marathon. The main reason I'm actually here is also because I have been invited on a press trip uh, with a couple of good friends, Mr. James London Fitness Guy, who I went to Ibiza with. Um, I went on his uh, fitness retreat and then also Alex Crockford. And unfortunately, the final person I'm going to be with is my annoying twin brother. Where's the camera? There's the camera. I don't actually see where I was. We've been with Will since last night. We like to room together when we're away, unfortunately, because we may as well can't afford the. Can't afford Did you know what? The benefits of having a twin, though, yeah, is we get to it's go like a couple. Price. So you get yes. literally, you both pay. Well, we don't mind sharing the room. I need a girlfriend. Sometimes. The trip arrived, starts today. We just wanted to come out a few days early, enjoy some sun, which we have. So, well, I have anyway. So. Now I'm going to meet the guys and then um, get in, stuck into the itinerary. So the next couple of days are just like active recovery stuff, like a bit of tennis, come some hikes and some light workouts, which is easy and nice for over my taper. So I'm really looking forward to it. And then, um, yeah, let's take you guys. And if you also want to see something very funny as well, Henry's already raided the fridge and he's already... No, it's good. So we had a lovely workout with James, my man here. And then I also did 35 minutes of a bike because it's, what is it, Wednesday evening and... That was on my plan for taper. It was really chill, really nice. But now we're at the beautiful uh, Seagull restaurant here on Puerto Romino. And the food they brought out is absolutely stunning. And they've got my favourite, which is the calamari. And... You went, was it Ibiza or something? He said, he said yeah, James looks at me like I was a freak. I've got shot, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever so seen him do good. that. It's like an animal on TV. Good morning. So, I may have banged my knee last night and it's still not feeling great this morning, but I've managed to come on a lovely hike with everyone for sunrise and we made it to the top of this glorious like viewpoint. It looks absolutely beautiful. These are beautiful views. I have just got ready for my final evening here in Marbella and it's been a really busy day. The sun was kind of overcast. So today I've, we did a long hike this morning. We had breakfast. I came back, did loads of work because it was overcast. We then had a really nice lunch, came back to do some work, went to do the gym. Now I'm back and it's half, my watch is the wrong way around. It's quarter to nine and we're heading out for dinner at Nobu. So we're three days away from the marathon and I went for a 5k run there and doing runs in the evening, I just feel like meh. But I'm feeling full, <laughs> probably because I've eaten too many fats and carbs, but hey, I'm on holiday, I'm trying to enjoy myself as well as tapering down as well. So got a nice dinner tonight, that'll be my heaviest one really. And then tomorrow we go home in the evening. So yeah, got a couple of light workouts tomorrow, but I'm really excited for this dinner. Let's go and check out Nobu this evening. It's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is our final workout here on the retreat. It's been epic and this is what we're doing. Tennis. Mr. Alex Crockford so far getting some absolute shots. Go on boy. James and Will and Faye and Kate. Light workout for the marathon. Good fun. So this is, looks delicious, like a burrito. And then I've got grilled, pretty much chicken salad and vegetables. Yum. So, that is the weight I'll be running in. London Marathon. Just heading off to the gym. It's a 3K walk and I really want to stretch my legs because it is 12.50, which means I have to get a shakeout run, get home, get some food, and then get to the Excel Center before 5.30. Because if I don't get there for 5.30, I cannot collect my bib number. It means I cannot race tomorrow. <laughs> This is perfect marathon fuel. I've got 20 minutes left to collect my bib number, so I'll be quick in and out. And then what I'm actually going to try and do is potentially get my name printed on my t-shirt here. So then I can put my bib number on my back because I just prefer running the bib number on my back. It makes me feel much more comfortable. And uh, yes, people will still see my name and give me that support I need. So I'm going to go to this place, which is in Poplar. Poplar. About 20 minutes away from here, but I need some food because I'm starving. I'm going to want today. I haven't exactly had the best refuel, but I guess in my bed I was eating a lot. So that was kind of my that was kind of my reasoning to eat a lot there. And then this day, feeling good sleep, feeling good. And I like coming into races light. So to be fair, it's not a bad thing. Run how you want your body to. Let's go to the XL. It's a good atmosphere here. I'm glad I can stay longer to be fair, but hey, hey it should be fun. Hey, lovely. How are you? I'm good and you? Good, thank you. Can I just give you my trial code? You are Made it just yeah. in time. Yeah, here we go. Show me the number. 4730. So this is the course. It's starting on the blue. We're all the way around. This bit's such a good atmosphere. It's long. The worst is getting here halfway. And you see other runners on the other side finishing off. That is literally the worst. Because you know you've got to go all the way back around here, all the way around, and then back around. So just here to see everyone else here as well. But then this bit is where it gets tough. But the atmosphere around here is just insane. So oh, excellent atmosphere here. I love it. It's just everyone's here. All the brands are here. All the uh, sponsors, all the charities. And everyone's just got like a bit of energy and a bit of like... Yeah, a little bit of spring in that step, I guess. And everyone's kind of nervous, but let, ready at the same time. Uh, look who we bumped into. Come on. Yes, gang. What? You can't miss it, can you? What time, what time are you aiming for? What time are you aiming for? She's not running. She's not running. You're not running? Who's that for then? <laughs> You've been a good support. Me. Guess what time I'm aiming for, Nutty? I'm going to say... She's got it. She's got it. That's it. That's what I'm aiming for. 2 hours 58. I'm actually aiming for 2 hours 58. 
If I can get to our 58, me and you will do a 10,000 food calorie challenge Done. for her side. Can I just say, can I just say, don't leave me there. I'll, I'll try, I didn't leave you hanging. Um, zoom in, zoom in. All right, let's go. I've been seeing Henry splits for the past like few months. From one. We've been speaking about him. We have, we have, we have. Henry's going to absolutely annihilate you. I hope so. I have. Oh, no, 100%, 100%. I love this girl's confidence. So this is it, the official kit. I am honoured to be running again with Team Tag Heuer which is, which I ran with them last year, so I'm very excited. I've got my gels, my science and sport gels. I've also got some electrolytes I'll be taking with me to pop in some, well, I'll be popping them in my mouth and swigging water down. Vaseline for my inner thighs, and this is my running belt, which I'll be putting the science and sport um, gels here, and then my phone in here, which is really good for runners. Um, yeah, this is the kit. I went and got my name printed, as I sort of showed you guys earlier, so people can give me a good scream and then i'm not going to be wearing those bad boys even though i said i was going to but you know what they just don't feel that comfortable i don't want to risk it so i'm going to be wearing my old ones but they're still as good so yeah anyway let's carb up and get some dinner in me is no you're in it now is chicken gyozas i've then got some about 200 grams of chicken and I go out four to 500 grams of potatoes and they've got some vegetables as well. I'll sprinkle it with salt and then I'll probably have something a little bit for dessert as well. But probably looking at around 100 grams of carbs, 120 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein. Not much fat, so I need to add some fats onto that as well. But that'll probably be my dessert. But yeah, good pre-marathon healthy meal. The cold potato is great for digestion. So hopefully that'll turn my tummy for tomorrow morning. Let's eat this and then get some sleep. So this is it. Time to see if all this hard work I've put in the last six weeks is worth it. I mean, I've worked so hard and the t sub three hour goal is something I've been dreaming of ever since I started running. So let's see, let's see how I get on. I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for showing your support to everyone who's viewed this uh, since I started this journey. Sub three, let's get it, baby.